Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Our opening hymn is number 246, Joy to the World. Please rise as you're able and join us. Again, that's number 246 in your hymnal. Hear this reading from Isaiah 35, verse 10. Those who have ransomed by the Lord will return. They will enter Jerusalem singing, crowned with everlasting joy. Sorrow and mourning will disappear, and they will be filled with joy and gladness. We light this candle as the symbol of Christ, our joy. May the joyful promise of your presence, O God, Make us rejoice in our hope of salvation. O come, O come, Emmanuel. I want to welcome you to worship this morning. Great to see you. Each and every one of you here uh, on this third Sunday in Advent. I know we have many folks that are visiting with us today uh, for uh, our cantata. Uh, we pray that you're blessed by your worship experience here and hope that you'll come and worship with us again soon. I, I encourage people in the early service, and I see some of them here as well, to come and worship in this service again today. I, so this is an awesome worship experience because you get to hear all of this beautiful music that's been prepared, and you don't have to hear me preach. Uh, uh, so uh, that, that's an added benefit. Uh, I, I do have several things that uh, I want to mention to you today in the way of announcements. This is a very busy season uh, in the life of our church. Uh, one is next Saturday, uh, we're going to have our second annual Christmas at Latham. Uh, it will be here in the main sanctuary. Uh, it is uh, another service that's focused on music. Uh, we'll get to hear a lot of music played and sung. We'll get to join in uh, and sing some of that together. Uh, afterwards, uh, there'll be some light refreshments uh, and a time of fellowship. Uh, again, that is next Saturday at 3 o'clock here in the main sanctuary. Uh, also, I want to remind you, we will have our normal uh, Christmas Eve candlelight communion services uh, both here uh, in the main sanctuary. We will have one service at 5 o'clock. Uh, we'll have child care provided uh, for that service. Uh, have another service at 9. Uh, we won't have child care for that service, but uh, 5 o'clock and 9 o'clock, uh, our Christmas Eve candlelight communion services. Uh, also, uh, Christmas Day falls on a Sunday this year, so uh, we're going to have one combined worship service uh, on that Sunday. Uh, it also will be here in the main sanctuary. It'll be at 10 a.m. Uh, we won't have any Sunday school classes uh, that day. Uh, 
it's going to be an informal service. Uh, I've encouraged people with kids to let your kids come in their pajamas. Uh, it's going to be informal. Uh, it's going to be a, a time of singing, uh, a brief message, uh, and uh, we'll get to go home early uh, to spend that day with our families. So uh, again, Christmas Day, 10 a.m. here in the main sanctuary. Uh, today's also uh, when we receive our white Christmas offering uh, to uh, support what used to be uh, the uh, Alabama Children's Home. It's called Embrace now. Uh, so uh, uh, in a few minutes uh, when we receive the offering, just make sure uh, on your check uh, you mark that white Christmas or children's home uh, so that uh, Anita uh, will know where to uh, place your funds. Uh, and I also want to mention today, uh, yesterday was... Uh, uh, when the special annual conference happened uh, down in Birmingham, uh, 198 of the 638 uh, Methodist churches in our conference uh, officially disaffiliated uh, at the, uh, the annual conference yesterday. Um, it, it was a very somber service. It was a, a sad, sad day for uh, everyone uh, who was there. Uh, many, many tears by pastors and lay people alike uh, were shed at that worship service and uh, the vote that took place. Uh, and uh, uh, we were one of those churches uh, that have now officially disaffiliated uh, from the United Methodist Church. Uh, our name as of yesterday has changed from Latham United Methodist Church to Latham Church. Uh, if you've gone to our website, you'll see that uh, that is already there. There's an insert in your bulletin today. Uh, the uh, domain name for our website also uh, had to change. All of uh, the staff email addresses are listed there uh, in that insert, so you'll know how to continue communicating with us. Our old email addresses will work for a time, but uh, all of the new ones are uh, listed there. Um, and uh, we'll be talking more about this uh, uh, in the, uh, the weeks to come. Uh, as we get ready to go to the Lord in prayer today, uh, I do want to mention uh, several names to you, uh, give you an opportunity to uh, lift up prayer concerns as well. Uh, also, I forgot to welcome the folks that are worshiping with us online on Facebook Live. Uh, if you have prayer concerns or joys, uh, you can share those in the comment section, and uh, we will be sure to add those to our prayer concern list. But uh, please be in prayer for Gene Wells. I uh, talked to, communicated with Carol a few times this week. Gene is now under hospice care. Uh, so uh, please remember uh, Gene, Carol, and their whole family uh, in the days ahead. Uh, also, uh, Lawrence Howard. Uh, Lawrence is out of the hospital. Uh, he is uh, in rehab and improving, uh, but uh, still needs our prayers. Please remember Lawrence. Uh, continue praying for Laura Emerson uh, and her family as uh, they uh, mourn the loss of her brother. Uh, lift up uh, Rose Battle. She has uh, has some tests that are upcoming. Uh, keep praying for uh, Edith's mom, uh, Lorraine, as uh, her cancer battle continues. Uh, remember David Peters uh, and uh, Mary Adams uh, asked in the early service today that uh, we remember an unspoken prayer concern for her. And, uh, last but not least, uh, please remember my wife, Amy, uh, who is going to be having surgery on Friday. Uh, do you have prayer concerns that you want to lift up before we go to the Lord today? I want to invite the ushers to go ahead and come down as we pray. Oh, one announcement that I forgot to mention. Uh, the uh, Joe Walton Literary Club will meet tomorrow at 2 p.m. in room 151. Bow your heads with me. Gracious God, we praise you for the precious gift of this day and for the gift of life that, uh, Lord, we sometimes uh, take for granted. We thank you for this blessed season of Advent, a time of expectation and waiting. Father, continue to prepare our hearts and minds. Help us to make room in our lives in the midst of the busyness of this season. Father, we trust in your goodness and in your faithfulness. We're grateful for your love and your grace and your mercy. And Lord, we believe that our prayers make a difference. We lift up 
the names that have been mentioned this morning. We pray especially for Jean and for Carol and for their family that you would surround them, Lord, with your grace, give them peace. We lift up many other names on our prayer concern list and unspoken needs that are on our heart today. We ask that your grace that's always sufficient would be at work in each life, in each situation. Holy Spirit, lead us and guide us as we worship you. Speak to us through this beautiful music this morning and fill us with joy and with hope as we praise you. And now, Lord, we join our voices together praying the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Please stand for the doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him.
Comfort, O oh, comfort my people, says your God, speaking tenderly to Jerusalem, and proclaim to her that her sin has been pardoned. A voice is calling in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. You who bring good news to Zion, go up high on the mountain. You who bring good news to Jerusalem, lift up your voices and shout. Lift it up. Do not be afraid. Say to the towns of Judea, Behold, here is your God. Any shout, we celebrate the coming of the Lord and say, Behold, here is your God. In the Bible, many of great men and women would go to the mountain to worship God in a powerful way. We gather today to go up to a higher place and experience the Lord's presence as we tell the story of Christ's birth. Though we celebrate with a loud voice, God tells us to comfort Comfort the people around us and speak tenderly to those who need to hear a voice of hope and peace. We are here to sing it boldly on the mountain, to tell the Christmas story to all who will hear. But we also take time to speak a quiet word of hope to those who are suffering, who need a, to feel the Lord's presence. Many around us are grieving and full of despair. To these we echo the prophet's words and say, comfort, 
comfort my people. Take courage and be hopeful, for soon a child is going to come and bring peace, love, and joy. As humanity awaits heaven, prepares the way for the child to come. In a tiny corner of the world, a young woman is visited by an angel. The angel tells her that soon she will give birth to a son who will be great and will be called the son of the highest. His kingdom will last forever. The angel gives her, her the name she will call him. It is a name that will be higher than any other name in the heaven or on earth. But at the time of his birth, his mother quietly gives him the name that we call him today. We join Mary as we call his name Jesus.
Jesus, all of us may call the holy name of Jesus, but all may experience the coming of the Christ, the Savior, Christ the Lord, and if we listen with our hearts, we can hear the words of the angels who appeared to the shepherds in the fields. As we tell their story, let's join the shepherds and listen to the band of angels who proclaim the good news of Christ's birth.
The angels bear sweet news of the Savior's birth. We follow the shepherds to the manger to see the newborn miracle. As we come into presence of the Lord, we cherish the quiet moments which Mary has as she holds the baby in her arms. Here we may experience the warmth of his holiness in an intimate way. After their encounter with the Holy Child, the shepherds went out shouting and praising God. We remember the words of Isaiah, who called us up to go to the mountain and boldly proclaim the good news. Now we go and sing it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born.
Christ is born, what a wonderful reason to celebrate. Jesus, who is the light of the world, has come to bring us a new life and hope and joy. But as we walk this earth, it is easy to lose sight of the light that he brings. Sometimes our eyes can become covered by the darkness of this world. Sometimes we forget to look beyond our troubles and see the light of hope and the power that it offers to us. The wise men followed the light of the star for many days until he led them to the child. Let's fix our eyes on the holy light of Christ and let it shine our, on our path as we draw closer to the Lord.
wise men worshiped the child and offered him their presents. Since that day, counsel, countless generations before us have gathered to offer the Lord their gifts of adoration and praise. Now this is our time. Let us embrace this moment as our generation gathers before the Lord. We'll, <clears throat> while we have living breath, let us do our part and worship in the presence of Jesus Christ, our Lord. We have called the name Jesus. We have celebrated his birth and worshiped his holy presence. Now is the time to go out from this place. Let our lives become a great celebration as we embody the words we shout and sing. Joy to the world, the Lord has come, know well, first, Christ's firstborn.
Thanks to Tyler and to Eleanor and to the choir for uh, this magnificent job uh, that they have done today. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, what a wonderful way to fill us with uh, the joy and the hope and the spirit of Christmas. Uh, would you bow your heads with me? Uh, loving God, we thank you for this wonderful gift of music. Uh, we thank you for this blessed season, Lord. Uh, and uh, for the joy and the hope that we feel this morning uh, as we have come to worship you. And as we go forth, Lord, uh, I pray that we would all sing it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 